first couple months is learning the budget. It's a $1.4 billion budget um, with 20,000 employees. So it's a $1.4 billion budget. You know we had the budget problem last year where it actually ended up being $59 million. They corrected me. You know, everybody in the community said it was $84 million. Actually, it was $59 million. It was still a lot of money, as I said. Still mm -hmm. a lot of money. That. And what actually happened when I first got elected, I, uh, Jack Lowe invited me to lunch. And I went to lunch with him with much prayer for my church come for it. And um, <laughs> I went to and I Henderson. And he actually admitted that he did not look at the budget. He didn't look at it. He missed it. He figured him also was holding the budget and everything was going. And what happened is we hired too many teachers. We just hired too many teachers. And one of my things that I tell them is we must first identify there is a problem before we can start solving. And one of my frustrations with DISD now is that we don't want to admit there's a problem. We want to talk about everything is good, the temporary schools, the recognized schools, but yet we're not getting to the meat of solving the problems for our 157,000 children. We are losing children every day. They're going to the suburban schools. They're going to um, charter schools. They're leaving DISD. They're not there. One thing the public can help is you can stay on top of that. That bond package. I don't understand. My question is why are we building the school, but yet Pearl C. Anderson's underpopulated, Billy O'Day mm. is underpopulated, but we want to build a new school. We do need new schools in some areas. There are some schools that need a new school. But when you're building a brand new school in the middle in, in South Dallas, it's nice to have a new one, but we're underpopulated. We're, we're going to have to close. They're talking about closing some of our schools because we just don't have the students in South Dallas. Stay, I can keep you informed, but start sending them questions. One thing that happened at the board briefing that I was very frustrated is we're paying a contract person and um, we're paying him $5,000 a day to come and work. When I first got on the board in December, they put the contract before me and said, you need to prove this. Um, I looked at the contract, I saw the $5,000 a day for 31 days, $195,000 is what he was going to make. Mm -hmm. And what he's doing is he's going to talk to teachers about how to help students, uh, talk to teachers about high expectations. Now mind you, we have some great teachers at DISD, wonderful teachers at DISD, that can mentor other teachers who may not know how. Right. So why are we paying somebody who wrote a book, $195,000, when we can have resources, retired teachers who have done excellent, that can come back to the district probably less than that. My thing was $5,000 a day. That's just a whole lot of money. I don't mind people making money. It equals to $625 an hour. Ooh. I bought that up. They took the contract off. Um, I, I went to, Robin came to me and said, it's not all you have with any problems with the contract. I said, yes, Robin, I have a problem with the contract. It's a little bit of strength to me for public school money. Um, what, I mean, can we not find a, a lower consultant? What, what are we doing with it? And he pulled it from the agenda. Well, it came up again this month. When I get my board package, I look and I say, he's back on the agenda. Okay. Well, we get to the board meeting and um, I, I send my questions in. What happens if you get the board package on Friday? If you have any questions, they got to be there by Monday at 3 p.m. So you can imagine what your weekend is doing. You're reading, trying to research, you get, get your question in by 3 to get an answer by Thursday morning. And then they give you a piece of paper with all your questions with the answers on it in blue. So you can see. Well, I requested all contracts of this particular man. Can I get all past contracts? There was a big package about this big when I got to the board table. And, and they purposely gave it to me at the board meeting. I was like, okay, I requested this Monday. It's Thursday, 12.30. You're giving me this. So I said, okay, Bernadette, read it. So I started reading it. And the lady, Robin sits right there. So he can see me with the calculator and uh, I'm writing the dates down. So when he gives to him, I say, yes, I have some more questions. Um, he has been, been getting paid $5,000 every three months from the district, all in 2009. Oh, my goodness. With three contracts. So I, I go on to tell them, I say, help me understand, trustees. Why we're paying him this? Why does he keep coming back? Bruce said, well, we might as well hire him as an employee. Why? You know, we keep paying him. So we go on talking about it. Well, Jerome Garza brings in, they bring up a contract from an Anglo person. They said, Robin, can you tell us how much we paid somebody who came that was Anglo? They paid him $16,000. Then they said, can you tell me somebody who was Hispanic how much we paid them? He got 
8,000 an hour. Then they say, can you tell me somebody else? They named all the cultures. Yeah. And I kind of was sitting there saying, what are they going with this? <laughs> and in my mind, I kind of knew, but I was like, I can't believe an open session. You're going there. You're using a race car. They said, well, he's African American, and he's making $5,000 or less, trustee nut out. I take a deep breath. I said, well, let me help you understand. One of my responsibilities as a trustee is fiscal responsibility. Yes. yes. To make sure the money, so we can get more money back to the schools for our students and our teachers. I said, so I don't care if he's black, white, Hispanic, or Asian. The only color I see is green right now. And I'm following the money. So that is my problem. That's the only color I see. They all got white. They didn't say a word. I said, now, Board of Trustees, my plea to you, when we start educating kids because it's our basic right and responsibility, the board would be better and DISD would be better. So let's start educating kids, not because of the color of their skin, but because of their right, our right, and their, our responsibility and their right to receive.